Hi everyone, it's good to have you back on here. Um, I'm super excited to always bring you back this um, wonderful opportunities. And I know it's an avenue to help each other and grow a very big family of um, people who would want to um, further their education, either doing an MSc or a PhD. So today's scholarship is brought to you by the Danish Government Scholarship and is giving international student, full degree graduate student, um, an amazing opportunity which is fully funded now this is supported by the ministry of higher education for science and the scholarship is presenting a full tuition fee waiver and a grant to help your living cost amounted to about dkk 3000 per month before taxes and wherever country you're watching from and you would want to check which equivalent is this is to and their cost of living in um, the, um, their country, you would know that this is a great offer. Now, this scholarship um, is giving an engineering master's program. Sorry if you are here and you're not engineering and you're looking at this opportunity now. There's a link up here to a scholarship that is uh, providing adverse opportunities in different fields so do check them out but this opportunity is for engineering master's program so they are looking at masters in engineering mechatronics and msc in engineering in electronics now these are uh, different um, places but at the same time they are the same i um, mean scholarship um, package now the scholarship is being awarded to obviously best qualified um, um, eligible applicants and when we talk about best qualified people it's not just necessarily academic grades now a lot of people a lot of things win you point to be a best qualified person and we'll go into that when we are checking what the eligibility is and what they are requiring of you now one thing to note is that the best um, qualified person uh, will be given the scholarship and you will need to present all your document before the application deadline now to be considered for the scholarship for february intake which is february next year 2022 you will need to have submitted your scholarship by the first of september this year and so please do note um it's just some few months away from now um uh, put all your document together and get the scholarship ready now one of the things you need to note is that um there is no separate application for this scholarship now they said that the scholarship will be awarded to best qualified eligible applicant all the applicants who are offered a steady place will automatically be considered for this scholarship hooray so you don't have to do separate applications now just the same application will be considered for um, the scholarship so i'm going to use one of the courses to um, describe how to go about this scholarship step by step if you're here for the first time you know what to do subscribe and if you have been here with us for a very long time you are the real mvp let's get right into it let's look at the um, course for msc in engineering mechatronics um, so i'm going to click on this space um, into another link here so um, for the mechatronics um, the course is in English you need to note now the course is a combination of um, mechanics electronics and software and everything from robots to refrigerators and whatnot um, you're going to have two um, two specialized areas in embedded systems or cyber physical um, systems now this is um, everything under the course uh, there's introduction to the program learning outcomes and share requirements so that will be what will be of interest to us so i'm going to click on the um entry requirement uh, requirement sorry so that we know what we we need now it's saying that you will need to have a relevant degree in the bachelor's um level um for this particular course and obviously you will need to prove your english language um level now there is limited um, number of spaces so you will need to fulfill a certain number of entry requirements like you stated here key thing is that you will need to write a motivational letter why you think that you you are eligible to be giving a scholarship in this particular program and obviously um there's a link above on how to write motivational letters now let your expertise and um, um, um both academic and professional that you've gained through internship volunteering activities working experience um 
attached to how this program is going to be of help to you in the next um, phase of your life and that's basically a, a summary of what motivational letter is and if you want the details you can look above and have a click on it and, and apply and I'll put the link also in the description box now this is how the system the course is going to be um, the embedded systems now he's saying that course content and level of your qualifying exams will be 1 to 30 point your academic results will be 1 to 60 point and emphasis will be placed on grades within this area and motivation for an ability to complete the study now for um, cyber physical system these are the number of points that you're going to get as well um, for this particular course so if you if you're here um, you're interested in knowing I mean um, studying this these are the two structures that you need to check now let's quickly move on to um, how you need to submit your application in the application portal here so have a click on here when you click here um, it will lead you to this portal where you would um, uh, guidelines for your application, how you set up your application, enclosures for your application deadlines, application fee for non-EU applicants who we'll quickly go through that now basically you have to submit your application via this online portal I'll go right into that and you will need to create a profile um, within the application systems and you'll be required to upload a copy of your passport and other another ID which has your name picture I mean birth and uh, nationality uh, just to prove that um, you're from where you are actually applying from now uh, this application also goes for people in University of South Denmark so some of the things um, do not apply now it says that uh, you would need to apply for your accommodation separately now things to note uh, you are you are being given a scholarship that will be able to fund your tuition and other living expenses out of which you can pay for your accommodation as well so you need to book an application and pay for the application and all of them will be I mean sorry accommodation and all of them will be part of what they would I mean fund you for now these are helpful guys on how to I mean log on to the application system and how to make an application if you're facing any challenges you can call this number if you have a, uh, a number to call and you can also write through the contacts formula here now enclosures for application these are mandatory application now you will need to upload a couple of documents so you should have them ready uh, while you start the application like your graduate diploma which includes your transcript uh, proof of any supplementary courses you might have passed that is irrelevant to the course that you're applying for prove that you can fulfill the language requirements of the program um, course descriptions possible further enclosures based on special special entry requirements for each program so every program will need certain document so like they're saying some will need motivational letter or your resume so you should have them written down well aligned to the particular course that you're applying for now there's a statement that states that if you've not passed your degree uh, you can attach your current um i mean official transcript of past registered courses and you can upload it also now this is for people that have studied in any danish uh, university and how they can acquire uh, necessary document uh, relevant for them i advise that you read through this very well uh, and also understand it so that you can see how you align to the course that you're applying for now the deadline is here for um um, says that if you wish to apply for admission in September uh, the application deadline is 1st of March and for non eu without caring the application deadline is 1st of February that is for people that have already started and um, obviously that's for September intake and so if you're looking at um, obviously the following year and uh, this is uh, what you need to target now you will have to answer to your application no later than 10th of June and you must answer um, that as well now for February intake as well if you're looking at that for non-EU student it's 1st of September so if you're looking at February next year this is the deadline that you should be um, looking out for now for non-EU applicants you have to pay a uh, an equivalent of 100 euros now find out how much 100 euros is in your current account um, and if you would you would you would be sent a, like a, a portal that you would need to fill out and pay the application fee now this 
application uh, payment deadline is within 14 days of application. Now these are frequently um, asked questions and all that where you need to call if you need to ask any question. Now quickly I'll uh, ask that probably let's go and have it scan through um, the application portals and I'll say that download these helpful guys to help you ask. Uh, so to do the application you would have to write on the page uh, we've been on and mind you the link will be in the description box uh, click here as um, apply through the online application portal. Now, this is how the online application portal is. Now, because you're a new user, you don't have an NMID, which is for Danish people, and you've never logged on to it, you will need to set me up as a new user. Now, let's quickly go into the helpful guide which is um, the same helpful guide we start from here that is going to give you how to step by step apply for it. Now, do you have print that helpful guide that could help you if you're comfortable reading from a paper or if you have two screens, open the helpful guide on the other screen and have this online application step by step and do the step on your own. Um, now let's go into the helpful guide. If you click on um, how to log on to the application system and how to make an application it will pop up with a, a download f a folder uh, where you would need to download sort of like a PDF. So this is instructions on how to log on to the digital application system with your personal user account. Um, so that's that's it here. Now it gives you how the portal looks like, what you need to put in it. Um, um, and basically a, any challenges you may meet they tried to answer it so I would advise that you you download this um, like how I downloaded it and go through them one after the other if you can print them out to serve as a guide for you on your table whilst you're printing that say if you're using two screens you need to open that on the other uh, screen so that you can be following it one after the other now this is also how to I mean apply online now you can use this website it's a clickable link that you can use um, the application portal you set you up as a new user this is what you see um, if you're experiencing any challenges it says that what you can apply for here um, the type of education what you're looking at like basically um, all the courses education now this is a vivid way step-by-step -step process to be able to apply for this scholarship so i think that um if you go through all of this you are secured you're sure um if you do have questions do pop them in the chat box session i don't want to make the video so long i will be ready to create this community that would help you to be able to go through the process one after the other now like they've used here you can use google chrome or mozilla firefox um browsers so that I can help in your application um step by step step um thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful uh, now tell me how your application worked if you're having any challenges do drop them in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you and offer any advice based on my field of expertise when it comes to applying for scholarships and varying um, scholarship now all the best in your application um on the same time another scholarship share subscribe hit the notification button Cha cha.